Hey guys, BX Bricks back with another LEGO Transformer review, and today we're going to be taking a look at my scaled down version of G1 Inferno. Let's check them out. Okay, so here we have G1 Inferno. I don't know if you guys have been on my channel long enough to remember the first time I built this guy, but he was huge. Originally, he was about eight studs across. He was able to fit two minifigs inside of him, even during transformation. But um, I felt like it was time to build something a little more in scale with my current models. So here we have this Inferno. It's only about six studs wide, and I think he came out pretty dope. Came out pretty dope. So um, let's check out some features in vehicle mode, of course. Let's do a little zoomy zoomy. As you can see, Inferno does roll quite well. Um, let's get this uh, spinning table out the way a little bit so we could have more of a stage. Um, let's see what else. I mean, of course, the ladder does work. So if we pick that up and break it, of course. Why not? But um, there's on a series of hinges here. I don't know why that's not sticking the way it should, but that's what it's supposed to look like. And then you guys kind of know how the ladder works already. There's um two of these in there, so it, it extends fairly high. Very, very, very high. So but we're not too interested in the working ladder. We're interested in the transformation, right? All right, so let's get to that. Um, the first thing that we are going to do is probably pick up this ladder a little bit. Let's get that up and out the way. Um, the next thing we have to do is detach the forearms, which is like just getting a nail right in between these two little uh, two by two black plates. Just popping that up and then being able to swing it out on stud friction right there. So, if it pleases the courts. <laughs> Actually, is that what we do first? Yeah, I kind of feel like that is. Because none of that is connected, right? No, not at all. So, oh. <laughs> I forgot there is a lock up here. We have to lift this up first. <laughs> and that will kind of be able to free up the arm for spinning out. <laughs> it's been a while, people. It's been a while. So we're going to do the same on the other side. This part is already separated. Lift up the little arm lock. And then that allows us to rotate the arm out about 90 degrees, like so. Um, from there... We will then be able to just drop everything like so and then what we want to do because the thighs are almost facing the right way for now let's just kind of fold up this whole ladder section let's zoom out a little more so you guys can see everything we're just going to fold up the ladder section like that for now separate the legs separate and they are connected with a double stud on this thigh right there so what we want to do is rotate at the knee and then rotate at the hip like so so now you got the bulk of the thigh facing the right way rotate at the knee rotate the upper thigh and you got all of that the way it should be. And then you can rotate in the upper hip right there, or the waist. And then that's what we're working with so far. Very awesome. So from there, what we're gonna do is bring down the ladder now. So that we could get to the head back here. We're going to get in there. I'll pull his head up a little bit. And then wiggle the head on that little T joint right there. Just 
back and forth. Little by little. There we go. Be careful not to take it all the way off until we can rotate it all the way around. And there we have the head. Um, next thing that we're gonna do is get these flaps and they kind of just make sure that you guys can see that. Fold that in like that. Fold this in and it's only gonna meet about halfway because the hinges kind of bump into each other back there. And then that allows everything to sit flush like that or as flush as possible. So from there, we can start uh, fixing up the arms. Just bend that down, close these little arm locks back in. Flip out the forearms. Do the same on the other side real quick. And then with the, with the wrist here, you just have like a series of like clips and hinges and stuff. So kind of just rotate out on that. I like to bring that up. Rotate the hand like that, and then bring it up so it's kind of like flush with the forearm right there. So I'll do it again real quick on the other side. Probably try to zoom in so you guys can see exactly what's happening. Oh, that's so close. So just rotate it out like that. Bring it up, swing around the hand. Everything's on stud friction and clips and hinges and stuff. And there's the hand. And then we drop the little grill and there we have Inferno. Very nice. Now we also have like a heel spur feature we take these little flags under here and kind of just bring this back for added support because when you do spin him around, he does get a little back heavy. And there we have Inferno looking dope. So now we could bring the rotating platform back in. So that we could try to get a final spin real quick. Oh, too close. Try to pick up the camera a little bit. Without everything falling apart. And we'll zoom in a little bit. Oh well. Alright, that's good enough, right? <laughs> So we could do a nice spin. This guy came out really good. Um, I wish I could have gotten, see what I meant about the, uh, the back heaviness. <laughs> but um, I wish that um, I could have made things a little more compact with the, the ladder and everything. Or like if I could have gotten those panels in the back a lot more flat, but I've tried offsetting the hinges and none of them really worked out like that, so. Um, for, for what it's worth, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, he's a big, chunky guy up there anyway. So, for size comparison. Let's see, who do we have? Who's this guy over here? Hanging out in the cut. Oh, it's Skywarp. So, there we have Skywarp. And as you can see, like, I mean, uh, Inferno's like maybe, maybe about a brick and a half taller. Maybe about a brick and a half taller. So, I don't know if you remember the last time you saw this guy, it was in my Optimus video. So, just to get you an idea of what Optimus looks like beside him now. <laughs> on top of my shelf and <laughs> you can't even see all of him yeah 
there's Optimus again. And um, yeah, Optimus is still probably the tallest Transformer right now. Back when I well, first built this guy, he was probably at least Optimus's height or taller. So, I mean, this is the biggest mainstream bot that I have right now. And make sure you go check out his review, guys. Come on. <laughs> Let's put him back, top shelf. And then out up there. I love that Optimus. Very dope, very dope. Let's put our Inferno back in the center. Get them all hanging out there. So this is BX Bricks. Thank you guys once again for liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting as always. Um, we got a ton of more videos on the way. If you want to get instructions for my new mini scale Inferno, uh, make sure you swing by BricksMediaStudios.com. Uh, as this video was posting, it's going to be the day before Thanksgiving here in North America. So of course, we're going to be having our annual Black Friday sale, 50% off on all instructions. I haven't made the, the coupon code yet, but uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook. We'll definitely be the first ones to get the, the, the coupon code on there. Um, and eventually when I do do it, I'll try to update the, the video with the link down below, down below there. So you guys can swing by that or just, you know, swing by the site and see what you can find. But um, we have over a hundred transformers there already. So it was like, imagine getting like a hundred transformers for the price of, of 50. Why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna have a ton more instructions up there. Of course, grapple is on the way. Um, I think the, the the Constructicon color of this guy might've been Hook or forgot his name, but there's a lime green version of this guy. I think there's a, a orange version of the guy that's not really grapple. He, he goes by a different color. And then there's art fire. So um, you could probably expect those, those recolors to come out at some point. I've already kind of dabbled with grapple a little bit. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about this guy and the first version that I made a few years back. And let me know what you think in the comments below. And um, I will see you guys next time. And happy gobble gobble if you're celebrating. And be safe. Peace.